Hello, what's going on YouTube? So today we're bringing you episode 5 of the big Minecraft build and today we're bringing you the closed ender chest. Last episode we did, we did the remake of the open ender chest looking a lot better. I have made this video a few times already and had to redo it um, because I either messed a little bit up or, or whatever. Um, reasons don't really matter. But yeah, so this is the third, maybe fourth time of me redoing this. So hopefully we can do it a bit better. So, I'll run through everything you need and how to do it right after the intro. Hello YouTube, welcome back. Um, it's like the intro said, this will be episode 5 of Close and the Chest. So all the blocks you are going to need are a block of gold, you're going to need lime wool, light blue wool, cyan wool, white wool, black wool, light blue hardened clay, obsidian and green wool. So first thing we want to do is find out where we want to make it, I want to make mine here. And you just want to go 13 blocks from the addition, from the first block. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, and then from this last block, the thirteenth, you just want to go back another thirteen. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh, then you want to go another thirteen here. It doesn't have to be exact doing that because you can kind of match it up by arch. You know that's the starting block. So like that. I just want to join them back on the floor so it gives you a shape that would look exactly like the one we have on the floor here. So now what you want to do is go into each of these four corners and build it up by nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then what we want to do is just connect all of the top together. So all of these top pillars, we just want to connect them all together. To give you something that will look like the framework of the base. It looks like the framework because, well, it is the framework of the, uh, just the box. And then we'll add the lid uh, uh, afterwards. The lid's where I went wrong before because I accidentally doubled up on one of the blocks and it's not meant to be double up uh, on this actual. The, the top block I did two across like this, but it's not. Um, so anyway, not to confuse you, what we want to do now is for... It doesn't matter what side because it's all going to be exactly the same. So it doesn't matter what side. I'm going to use this um, as my front facing just so I know. And what I want to do is go into each corner and bring it up by an additional four. So one, two, three, four. One, no, just one, one, two, no, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And finally, one, two, three, four. And then again, you just want to connect them all up to the top, like so. And this will give you the framework for the lid. So, bear with me, and like so. Uh, da -da -da -da, nearly done. There you go. Right, so this gives you the whole framework of the... Oh, that's the back. Sorry, there you go. This gives you the whole framework of the build. So it gives you the base and the lid. There's really not a lot to it as terms of the frame goes. So what we're going to do first is build in the um, sides. So the first side we're going to do is this left hand side. And what you want to do is you want to go to the back left of the um, box. And you just want to do one obsidian, one clay with a clay on top. Then you want to do two obsidian, well, well, three obsidian, 
And on the third one, you want to add two obsidian like so, so it's one off the ground. And then you want to add two obsidian, two like that. And then you want to add two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian. So that's the shape that it should give you. And then for the rest of the bottom, you just want to fill in all of this with obsidian. So bear with me while I fast forward the video. Okay, so that's the first side of the box complete. So now we want to just go to the opposite side. We'll do the front and the back afterwards. Um, so you want to go to the opposite side, and what you want to do is just go, just do one, two, two obsidian, and then put a light, light blue hardened clay on top of the second obsidian. And then you want to do five obsidian. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the third obsidian, so where the clay is, one, two, on the third, we want to add one more obsidian and then three light blue hardened clay. So it gives you something that look, should look like this. And then what we're going to do is add two obsidian like so. And that will give you a shape that should look exactly like this. So that's one, three, two. And then again, you just want to fill in the whole rest of this with obsidian. So bear with me. Okay, so welcome back. So that's the second side completed. And now the last um, side of the wall that's just this design is the back. So you want to come over here and what we want to do is just do a full row of obsidian on the floor like so. Once we have the full row of obsidian, what we want to do is come to the left hand corner, do one obsidian, one clay, two obsidian, uh, two clay on top like this. Then one, two, three, four, five obsidian, and exactly the same two clay like this, one obsidian. And then what we want to do is fill in this gap with obsidian like so. Then we want to do two obsidian, and then we want to do three clay stacked on top like so. And then we just want to fill in the rest of this space with obsidian as well. Okay, so there we have it. That is the back of the chest completed. So now what we want to do is do the front. Now the front's where things start getting a little bit challenging, but nonetheless, it should be fine. Okay, so what we want to do is go one obsidian, two clay stacked on top like so, uh, two obsidian, one clay, then we want to go two cyan wool, one clay, two cyan, nope, I did that wrong, um, take away those cyan, we don't need those cyan, I meant obsidian, so two obsidian, one clay, one obsidian, so that's the base line, that's how that should go. <clears throat> And then what we want to do is pull out the light blue wool and just above these four that we did in the middle, we just want to layer that with light blue wool like so. Then the two middle inside, the two middle ones here, we want to put dark green like that. And then we want to do a two by two square on top of that with black wool like so. So it gives you this kind of penis looking shape. And then what we want to do is come to the top and on the top right of the black cube on the top right black one we want to add a dark green wall on the left of that we want to add a clay and on the left of that we want to add a white wall to give it look like a number one shape and then at the top of the ender eye in this gap on the clay and the green wall we want to just add two cyan like so and Next to that, we just want to add to a light blue wall on the end of the cyan, like so. So it should give you a shape that looks like this. And in the gaps here, the four gap there and the three gap there, we just want to do a lime wall, like so. This design is exactly like the um, 
open ender chest if you haven't seen that i'll be linking that in the description as well so this gives you the kind of middle of that and now we just want to do the outline so what we want to go go ahead to your green wall and in the middle of these four lime on the two middle ones we just want to put dark green there and on the top and middle of these lime we just want to put dark green like that and then basically we're done all we need to do now is line it with cyan so in this corner here it goes cyan these two there cyan in the corner there cyan we got the cyan in the middle and then corner cyan these two cyan and cyan in that corner and that will give you the enderite so now what we want to do is fill the rest in again with obsidian so bear with me while i fast forward the video to save us both some time i say okay so there we go there we have it that is the front that is the enderite so so far it should look exactly like this um just without the kind of top filled in so we want to go to the top now um and we're going to fill in the roof and then we'll do the sides because that's when we can add the latch and finish it off completely so this part will get extremely repetitive so please just bear with me while we go through this so what we want to do is go into the left corner so this is the front we just want to go into the left corner here and place one obsidian in the corner then we want to go one hardened clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay one obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one obsidian sorry i told you it gets repetitive um one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay one obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay two obsidian one clay so that will give you this pattern here if you haven't got this pattern exactly like this if it doesn't line up exactly then you've done wrong on the measurement somewhere because it should give you the exact pattern then what we want to do is just fill in the roof with the obsidian so two seconds So now we have that completed, what we're going to do is we're just going to want to fill in the um, sides. Yep, the sides of the lid here. So the first one we're going to do is this side here. If you come over to the shape, just uh, the right side of the box. Or the crate, is it called a crate? Chest, that's the one. So what we're going to do is do one line of obsidian, one full line of clay, like so. Uh, two full lines of obsidian like this um, two clay on top of the roof like this and then one obsidian two full rows of obsidian like so two clay again with obsidian and then two rows of obsidian one full row of clay like so and then one full row of obsidian so you should have something that should look exactly like this so now what we want to do is go over to this side over here and what you want to do is go to the back corner you want to do one full row of obsidian one full row of clay two full rows of obsidian and we'll go two clay coming off the ceiling like so with one obsidian on the bottom two full rows of obsidian then what we're going to do is add one clay at the top, one clay at the bottom of an obsidian in the middle, uh, two full rows of obsidian, a full row of clay, like so, and then finally one full row of obsidian, like so. So it should give you something that should look exactly like this.
So now what we want to do is come to the back, which is this shape here, and we want to go back to the back left corner. We want to go one four of obsidian, one clay at the top, followed by two obsidian, two rows of obsidian like so, two clay coming from the top, and then we want to do five rows of obsidian, so one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, then we want to do a full row of clay like so, one full row of obsidian like this, and now we only have one facing left until we have completed the closed ender chest, which is just this chest, uh, this facing up here, so what we want to do is we want to come up to the left corner, and do one full row of obsidian. We want to do a full row of clay, two rows of obsidian like so, two clay coming off the ceiling like this, one obsidian, two full rows of obsidian like this, and then we want to go a full row of clay, not like that at all, like this, two full rows of obsidian like so, one clay at the top and the rest in with obsidian. So now we have the 99.9% completed end chest and the only thing missing is the latch. So pull out the block of gold just in this gap here. We want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 covering the top two cyan and this will give you the 100% completed closed end chest. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any improvements. I think I've done it pretty spot on, but let me know what you think anyway. Um, so, this, yeah, like I said, this is the 100% completed closed ender chest. I have done it as accurate as I can to the actual model of the ender chest. Um, if you want to play around, do a bit different on the designing, go ahead, knock yourself out. Um, that's not up to me, I'm just telling you this is what I did. So please like, comment and subscribe. The next two episodes that are coming out will be the normal chest and the uh, the closed and open normal chest. And then I've got a surprise one afterwards, which I think you enjoy. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And comment if you want to see any other builds. Let me know what you want to see built and I will I'll do that for you. Um, I'll try my, try my best anyway. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.